Morning guys, um, so the rudder shaft is bent a little bit. I'll show you where it's bent. So I marked the, the maximum point of the bend. So it bent um, below the bushing. You can see the mark where the bushing was here. And um, it's bent enough so that at one point during a complete turn it sticks a bit, which is potentially a problem, but I can, there's two directions I could install this and the rudder only has to turn 30 degrees. So I could completely avoid the sticking area depending on which way I installed it. But maybe I can get it, um, fixed over it. This guy I got it from his place. He's got a workshop. Um, my idea is to heat this up to red hot and squeeze it in a vise in this direction. Um, hopefully with some aluminium or something on each side to try to protect this from getting scratched. Although, you know, I can sand it. It's not going to be the end of the world if it uh, gets scratched a little bit. Um, so yeah, I'll buy the guy a bottle of rum. Um, hopefully we can fix it, that would be nice. I mean, this uh, 32 mil stainless tube is like uh, 40 to 60 euros to buy another about the same to machine it. it needs to machine down to like 25 over there or something. Um, and these holes drilled, so, but uh, that's not something I'm going to get done here in Cape Verde. I don't have the money right now, or the time, well, the time's not so much of an issue if I'm going to buy it and get it machined, but, um, yeah, no. I'll sell as it is with it, if I have to, but if we can get it, now it's about five degrees out, if we can get down to one or two, then uh, those issues should be negligible. So um, yeah, we'll see how this goes. I'll uh, continue this video when I go to land. Okay. So um, we're here in my friend Jimmy's yard. And we're going to straighten the shaft in this uh, hydraulic press here. At least we're going to see what we can do. Okay guys, I'm back from the workshop and uh, I'll just give you a quick tour of the things we've done on the hydro vane since uh, the last video and then I'll uh, put together all this stuff and upload this video. So, the shaft, uh, it'll be pretty hard to show you on camera that it's straight now, well, it's within one and a half millimetres. but. It now spins freely without catching on anything, which was the main thing. Uh, there's some, well, I think you can kind of see the bends there, but it's actually only like 1.2 millimeters off there. And uh, this goes inside the rudder, which is a little bit loose and stuff inside there anyway. So I don't think it's gonna make much of a difference. And it's bent. Uh, to the side, which is the uh, way that the rudder slightly bent as well. So I'll just um, mount the rudder in the other direction and 
Yeah. So um, then things will even themselves out. So um, almost finished painting the brackets. Some more up there. I'm just letting paint that drips through on the undersides dry off so I can sand it down and give it one last coat on the undersides, which is not so important anyway. But uh, as you see here, those holes now, 10 millimeters. I'm not sure they're both lined up vertically with each other, but that's not important. They're straight and they're 10 millimeters. And uh, here, I've removed the swim ladder. I've marked the center line here. A bit of gray primer there after I've done the epoxy. Um, just use the gray because uh, it's easier to sand down and stuff. This is the uh, spacer for the top bracket. As you can see, it, well, maybe you can see, it's shaped to the hole there, which is quite difficult. That's four pieces joined together to make that. Then epoxied over uh, and then varnished over the epoxy. Well, epoxied over on this side here, which is going to get the sun. And you see, unfortunately, the epoxy is a lighter colour, but this is going to be covered over. Um, and uh, because I want to be able to remove the wind vane, uh, I'm not going to use Sikaflex on this side. I've just made a PVC gasket um, to protect everything and keep it somewhat sealed. Um, and there'll, there'll be Sikaflex on that side, so I can remove the hydro vane without removing the uh, spacers. Uh, which will be secret flex on that side, like I said. Um, so, yeah, I think that's about it for this video. See you later.